I was getting ready for the Kanye concert, so I thought I would turn on my camera because I did have some time to prep. So here it goes. So I'm starting off with my moisturizer. This is from Ember Elise. It's a really great one for keeping the skin matte, but also still moisturizing. And I'm doing that all over my face, and then I'm also going to be priming my eyes. This is from Benefit State on Straight. It's pretty much dried out at this point. I have like two more uses, but I'm still debating if I want it again. I'm setting that eye primer with a powder just so that nothing slips through. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but for today I was I had some time and I had a lot of, you know, extra time, so every little step I did. <laughs> now I'm using the Morphe 350 palette and I'm starting off with this middle tone brown. I'm using that on my outer crease just to kind of ground every other eyeshadow that I put on top. Um, if I go straight in with a really dark color, it's just not going to lay as well as as when I have that first color underneath. So I like to do this almost every single makeup I do. Then I'm taking this cool tone brown. It almost looked like it was leaning a little bit on a purple tone, but it's very, very cool. So that's the reason why. So I was kind of laying it first in the outer crease and then building it up. And then I would take a fluffy brush and blend out that edge. Then I took that same brush. It's a very tapered brush. If it's too fluffy, it could go really far in your inner corner, which makes it look almost like you have a black eye. So just make sure that you're using a very small brush, placing the color inside, and then blending it out with a fluffy brush. I thought it was still too cool, so I wanted to add some warmth to it. It didn't make a huge difference, but this is what I, the process. I laid it on top of that dark brown, and I blended it on top. Again, it didn't really do that much, but I think it made a tiny bit of a difference. But I could have gone without this step completely. Now I'm using this uh, quad, uh, not a quad, sixer, and I'm using that nice taupey color, and I'm laying that on my lid. This was at the point where I was like, mm, just shouldn't have done that because it didn't make a big difference. It literally, I could have just laid that first color that I put on all over my lid, and it would have been the same. Um, and that's because I used a more glittery color on top, so this step, honestly, I could have gone without. Now I'm using this awesome pigment. It's a pressed pigment by MAC. I will list it below. And I'm spraying my brush with the Mayron Fixative Powder spray, not powder, and I'm laying that on top of my lids. This fixative is amazing. It really does make every single sparkly, shimmery, shiny color look extra shiny and pretty and beautiful. So I'm kind of being careful with this and laying it and swiping it on top because once that stuff dries, it will stay there and pretty much not move. Add a little bit more of that dark color on the outer corners just to keep it nice and cool there. And then make sure that you are blending out after every step, especially when you're adding a dark color. I just kind of go and make sure that that's nice and blended. And then I'm wiping my face because there's a lot of fall down with that glitter. Taking a very small skinny like felt tip pen, I'm just lining the very, very base of my lashes. I'm not doing it for a, any kind of wing. And then I'm putting on my mascara. This is what plain, it's not waterproof. The foundations that I'm mixing together are the Pro Matte and the Pro Glow foundations. I really like this combination. Anything L'Oreal does, I swear, is a hit. And now I'm using this Maybelline concealer. This is the Match Master Master Conceal, and it's a number 40. It's a really great color. It's a little light, but I, I like it for um, brightening that inner and highlighted area. And because I wanted this to last a long, long time, I made sure to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier powder, uh, translucent powder. I don't let it bake. I just kind of place it on there and then I brush it away with the sponge while it's still wet. Now for the whole face, I just wanted to set it, make sure all that color was still on my face. So I'm using the Studio Fix Powder by MAC and NC42 just to kind of set everything. I was going for matte, matte, matte this day. Now I'm using my NARS Casino Bronzer. This is a darker bronzer from NARS. It's a really great one. It's a little bit reddish, but it's okay because it was kind of serving as a blush. And I was using that with a dual fiber brush for um, to kind of con contour just a little bit and also bronze. The, the forehead, the cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, a little bit down my neck. Now I'm using this e.l.f. blush. It's a really great kind of peachy tone color. I really like this blush a lot. And I'm using that on my cheekbones. I tried to pile it on, but you can't really tell with this lighting. I'm still kind of working on the lighting. But I really do like this uh, blush from e.l.f. 
Now I'm just filling in my brows using the Anastasia Duo Powder. This is um, in dark brown. It's broken and mixed together, so it's pretty much one color. I don't even change the powders. I just use the actual brow powder and put it on my drop shadow on my lower lash line. I really like this color. It, it pretty much works. It's pretty much like a dark, cool tone brown. Then I didn't want to forget to put my mascara. I should have done this after the eyeliner, but it's okay. I actually made it work. But um, the uh, mascara I'm using is the Voluminous Black from L'Oreal. It's a great one. Now I'm using this white eyeliner from Rimmel. It's actually more like a tan color, like a skin tone color. It just makes my eyeballs look just extra big. I really like the dramatic effect it gives. Black liner on the lower lash line is also really, really pretty. Um, but I like the way this makes my eyes look, especially at a dark concert. Now I'm just um, adding a little bit more of that pigment underneath, just to give me a little bit of a sparkly effect. For my lashes, I'm using these really cool ones from Salon Perfect, and I'm using a dark tone Revlon glue. It's a really great sticky, sticky eyelash glue. It's my favorite. I didn't think my face was bronze enough, so I'm using the color Shadester by MAC. You can't tell here, but I was just having a hard time getting it super, super bronze. Now I'm just kind of touching up that line, making sure that the glue looks matte, and it looks like it's part of the look. And then I'm adding this Bobbi Brown highlighter. I used to love it so, so much, um, but I was not satisfied with it. So I ended up using the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. I just thought it gave me a little bit more of um, a really shiny, shiny effect, which I, which I was going for. Now I'm just adding a little bit of that on my brow bone and on my inner corner. For my lipstick, I'm using the color Stila. No, it's from Stila, and it is called, not Aria, Patina. It's an awesome, pretty, pretty color. And that's pretty much my look. I really hope you guys liked it. Again, I was getting ready for the Kanye concert. It's really not a huge deal. It's not like everyone's going to see my makeup, but when those lights go on, it could be very, very frightening. So I did want to make sure to put extra effort on my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys try it out. Please let me know if you do, and if you do, tag me on Instagram. Bye, guys.